Hello everyone. This week is looking at the group research designs and there is a continuum of group research designs. The book in chapter 7 does a really good job of breaking down the different components to understand related to the research designs and linking them back to the research question. Remember, we know that once we have our research question, then it actually informs us about what kind of methodology we can use. So the book does a good job of linking back, whether it's an exploratory question, a descriptive question, or explanatory question. Also on page 197, it starts breaking down there is notation and terminology related to group research designs. An O means observation. Uh, R means random assignment. And these um, notations are used to depict which type of research design is being used. If you're reading published research on group designs, you'll see these notations in there. It talks about random assignment and not random assignment. And that's a key component to be aware of when we're talking about research designs. And then it breaks down the type of group research designs that are available, starting with the pre-experimental or the one-shot case study. A survey design is considered a one-shot case study group study because you're capturing a group of individuals at one point in time. Then you've got one group and you're doing a post-test only. Then you get into the quasi-experimental designs, which include multiple points of gathering data, but there's no random assignment there. And then you get into true experimental designs, research designs, which is the highest level of knowledge because you can control for the most threats to internal and external validity. We don't use a lot of experimental research designs in our work in social work because we don't randomly assign clients and we don't um, have control groups or individuals who are not getting a treatment. So that's a little bit more rare in our work than the quasi-experimental designs or the one-shot case study. The book also breaks down the threats to internal validity and external validity. A threat to internal validity is a, a variable outside of the research process that can impact the data, the outcomes. In other words, it can, it can impact whether you can say your intervention made the difference. External validity has to do with being able to apply the findings of the research to additional groups outside of the one that you studied. So this, this gets a little bit confusing, but the book has done a very good job of breaking that down for you. So just read your chapter. I have put up a video or a pre-recorded video that actually just kind of outlines it. It's one that I use in my Social Work 531 class. Group designs are group designs, no matter what research class you're taking. So it kind of outlines that. I'm going to go in and do the, um, the demonstration on how to create a survey design, and then we'll get together and talk about that. Otherwise, y'all have a great rest of the week, and I will talk to you in the future.